4-H Foundation Regional Extension Agent in Mobile County with Alabama 4-H. Join me and my kids in the kitchen as we bake a blackberry cobbler today. Here's our final product. Half a cup of sugar. We're just adding this into our mixing bowl. This is our mixing bowl that we're using. Then we need a cup of flour. Get a nice big scoop. Take the back of my knife. Scrape it across the top. Now I got a nice even cup. We're gonna add this in to our bowl. Go ahead and mix it up. And our flour is unbleached and self-rising. And so we're just mixing it up nice. And so this just makes sure that the both ingredients are distributed um, evenly. So we're gonna put half a cup of butter, melted. I melted it on the stove top. We're gonna add that in. I use unsalted for all my baking. Then we have one cup of milk. We're gonna go ahead and add that in. Now we're gonna mix our dry and wet together. Since we're mixing it by hand, we're gonna get all those chunks out of there. So I'm just gonna take them off to the side and get them out. So we have smoother batter. And it's a little harder when you're doing it by hand, but that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and prepare my pan with my favorite baking spray. You can use butter if you'd like. So I just went ahead and gave it a real good spray so it's evenly coated and distributed throughout my eight by eight pan. I'm just gonna give it a little tap like that on the countertop and shake it back and forth so that make sure that it's even. Next, I'm just gonna grab a spoon. It doesn't matter if it's slotted or not, I just happened to grab one that was slotted. And I'm going to scoop out the blackberries and I'm gonna put them down in here. How do they smell? Great. And I'm using the back of my spoon just to go ahead and tap them in a little bit. Now my cobbler looks like this, and I'm gonna go ahead and take it over to the oven. So beautiful. So we have it baking in the oven for 350 degrees for 45 minutes. I'm gonna get that beautiful blackberry cobbler out. Oh, it's beautiful, it looks so pretty. We have a nice golden edge, and it's golden on top, so that means it's ready. Take a closer look. So let's cut into it. Gonna cut into it and get a slice out. You can either serve it up with some ice cream or some whipped cream in a can, or I also made some fresh whipped cream. Which would you like? I just want it plain, please. Just plain? Okay, here you go. Thank you. What would you like? Ice cream, okay. Mmm, looks delicious. 